so I didn't want to do this. I didn't. And then I heard an argument today that made me decide that we probably should cover it. So for those of you that were on the hell site known as Twitter, you most likely saw that for an entire day, an internet cult phenomenon became a trending tag for over, what was it, 12 to 14 hours, maybe longer? So the, here's the thing. I'm not happy. Xena's heard me about this, and Xena's agreed. So we decided this had to be talked about, because I just got done watching two different streams talking about this. The first was Xander Hall calling in to Vosh, discussing why this needs to be talked about, because Vosh seemed very avoidant about it. And then listening to Xander Hall's covering it, by which Xander Hall did a pretty good recollection of the events and the situations at hand. I recommend that video, though I will admit I was not really turned on by the sort of Mimi lulls kind of mentality of that discussion. There's nothing funny here. Not a bit. So for those who don't know what I'm talking about, there is a person on the internet, or was until they were arrested today, by the name of Chris Chan. Chris Chan was an internet punching bag, or what is known as a lol cow, who has been posting on the internet longer than I've been on the internet, who is right around my age. Chris Chan is a trans woman, and Chris Chan has been harassed and doxxed and hunted, and her personal medical information has been brought out by a group of people who call themselves Christorians. They bring out this information to study this person because they look at them as something of an anomaly. And apparently there are so many of these Christorians that there are actual factions. Some try to protect Christine, while others attempt to bait her into doing sexual acts. You can again go to Xander Hall stream for that. I'm not talking about that here. The reason why we have to talk about this today is because Xander Hall made a good argument to Vosh, and even Vosh conceded to this, and I'm not just conceding myself because Daddy said so. I'm conceding because it was a good fucking point. If the left doesn't get a hold of this narrative first, then the right's going to get a hold of it and hold on to it for the next fucking year. Right? They're going to hold on to this for as long as humanly possible, because this person is a representation, or at least an avatar, of everything they say that trans women are. Yes, all, absolutely. So the simple fact of the matter is, is that Christian has been a person who has been Again, harassed, convinced into doing all sorts of horrific acts. I do not psychoanalyze people on this channel, but I'm going to make it very clear, based on all information that has been provided, we are not just talking about a person dealing with a high level of care involving autism. We are talking about someone dealing with some sort of break from reality, some sort of delusion, or possibly a schizo disorder. I don't know. I don't know their case. They're not my client. But the fact of the matter is this person had delusions about a character they created and believing that character was them, but also not them, and that this being was in an alternate dimension. The simple fact of the matter is that a group of people on the internet, who many of which later have created Kiwi Farms, and you know what, how much of Nazis Kiwi Farms are, the simple fact of the matter is, is that these motherfuckers watched this for 15 years while this person continued to sink further and further into delusion, and no one on the internet did anything. I'm going to say that again for those in the cheap seats. A decade and a half was used to observe this person's life, to dox them, to convince them to do sexual acts because clearly part of their, their mental illness causes them to be incredibly easily coerced. And then this person 
was incredibly treated poorly, even by members of the trans community who did not, who doubted her transition. I can't say whether she's trans or not. I just assume that she is because I don't ever want to start the slippery slope of doubting someone. And all starts, it's fucking irrelevant. The only reason her transness is even a part of this discussion is because of fucking trans misogyny. Full stop. The fact of the matter is, is that we have a person who has been mentally ill and clearly decompensating for the longest time and no one did anything. I didn't even know this whole thing existed until Contra's cringe video, which I will then put in the description of this video because spoiler, she has some fucking points. The reason why Chris Chan was trending on Twitter.com, the hell site among hell sites, is that very simply, Christine was during a conversation recorded at saying that, and again, trigger warning for discussions of sexual assault. Christine allegedly sexually assaulted her elderly and dementia-ridden mother. It was brought to my attention when we started the stream that Christine has since been arrested. And my understanding is, and people can correct me if I'm wrong, is that the reason why this was trending on Twitter.com is because the people who are Christorians started putting out this information as quickly as possible. Yeah, if this is not your cup of tea, it's okay to leave the stream. We will be here when you get back. Like, this is a hard conversation. So I'm right now just laying down the context. So what we have here is a mentally ill person who should have been institutionalized, hospitalized, or been part of several outpatient programs who was, after their father's, after her father's death, was had to take care of her elderly mother and apparently sexually abused her. According to smuggled out medical documents, from the Christorians. Christine has the mental age of a 10 year old. So I want you to think about that for just a second. An entire group of hundreds of harassers, doxers, and people that literally groomed a child to fuck with Christine. That happened. We're doing this to a person who had the mental age of a 10 year old. And for some reason, there were no systems, no nothing in place to make this person better function, be institutionalized. Why was mom not in a fucking nursing home or with other family members? Why was it the person who was clearly struggling with their connection to reality doing this? Yeah, Niana's right. Look at all the good they could have done. There's supposedly a group of them called like the Watchmen or the Watchers or something, some fucking LARPy ass name. And not a motherfucker here enrolled Christine in fucking community mental health. Not a single one of them tried to protect this person who was basically a child at heart. So with that said, that's the context. The last thing I'll bring up and then I'll bring Xena into this is this. If you are so ignorant as to believe that a person's actions takes away their human dignity and rights, you are by definition a fucking idiot. I made the same argument when the offensive T-slur made his dumbass argument. The idea that you get to misgender someone because they did a horrific act is fucking nonsense. Your gender, your identity, your race, whatever aspect of you we are talking about, 
does not suddenly disappear because you did a horrific crime. No, Pack Pack and YouTube chat's right. There are this is no trivial task. There are a few there are a few people who would have had the wait, no, you're saying that they, they wouldn't? Bullshit. There are members of them that were friends with Chris Chan. This has been documented. I disagree. No, Pack Pack, some of that looks fucked. No, Pack Pack, I disagree. And there absolutely is an official system. It's called community mental health or whatever the the equivalent is in um Canada. Like, no. Yeah, no, there are definitely systems in place that I've literally do this hospitalized kind of and given people guardians before. I've been part of court assignments to do this for people. The fact that this happened was a neglect of both the system and simply the fact that these group of people could have called any number of organizations at any point. And there are absolutely systems in place to help senior folks too. And people dealing with dementia. Those absolutely exist and should have been utilized at all of this. Most likely, Pack Pack, the reason the system didn't intervene is a number of reasons. One, the system is underfunded. Two, the simple fact of the matter is, is that um, if no one alerts them, they don't know. And there were people actively trying to keep that from happening because they wanted their lol cow to stay here. You don't think people that could have coerced a person to destroy things of their own and, and anally penetra penetrate themselves could have called community mental health or said that this person was potentially a danger to themselves and others, that this person was delusional? That there could have been some interaction, especially with watching elder, you know, watching her elderly mother. You could have called elder, el you literally could have called APS, Adult Protective Services. Like, no joke, there are systems in place in the U.S. I don't remember where Christian is from right now, but the simple fact of the matter, there are systems in place in most of, like, the U.S., Canada, etc., that you can just do this. No one did anything because those systems are underfunded, constantly cut by Republicans, and the fact of the matter is is that they don't work unless anyone alerts them. Why couldn't anyone call APS? Um, conservative ships is a different discussion. I'm not getting into it now, and in this case, I'm 50-50 on it. That could have very well prevented some sort of abuse to the person's mother. Fair enough. Okay, so the U.S., so it works exactly the way I said. Cool. So also, if we're giving anything about personal information about this person mods, please go delete that. That's not stuff that we actually want in our chat. Like we don't. Yeah, please keep this stuff vague. I know people. I know people want to share things and want to talk about this, but but I don't need super specific things. Just say that she's in the U.S. Thanks. Let me be a hundred percent clear. The reason why I'm talking about this is not because I want to. The reason why I'm talking about this is because it's disgusting and because there is very real problems here. No system was utilized to fix this. No one stepped in and a group of people online continually abused this person. And you know what? Here's the fucked up part is I don't even know if there's evidence saying what she alleged she did happened. At least based on everything I've read or seen so far, this is something she said in a recording, and this is the same woman who literally believes that she's had fights with gods while driving. This woman has hit people with cars. This woman has attemptedly sex like sex was sexually inappropriate with somebody. Let me be very, very clear. I don't even know if this is true. All I know is there is an alleged case here. And the way people are talking about it is really fucked. They're using it as justifications for misgendering. They're using it as ways by which to attack trans people, which we knew was going to happen. Chris Chan is an autistic, incredibly um, cringy person who has been online for years. And spoiler alert, it's literally the pictures they draw. Like, she's literally picture the pictures they draw of trans women. I'm not saying that that means she should be ridiculed or harmed, but the problem is, is that this is, we, it's kind of like handing the golden cow to these fuckers. And no one did anything here, most likely because it was incentivized to not.
Yeah, she's been blackmailed into confessing she didn't do things before and again coerced into doing awful things before. Let's be clear. Someone coerced and groomed their brother or sibling, I can't remember which, to reach out to this per to reach out to this person and get them to do things sexually. Holy shit, these people are willing to groom children to fuck with this mentally ill person. The simple fact of the matter is, is this. I am really not happy with the co with the takes thus far. And I'll be clear, I haven't watched a lot because this is a really gross thing. There's a lot of channels that, just based on thumbnail, I won't engage with. Full stop. I can tell you the two I did watch. I think Vosh's reasoning of why not to talk about this feels dodgy. I don't like it. I really hoped Vosh would have a better take on this, and it feels like the argument that there's nothing to talk about here, there absolutely is something to talk about here. There's the abuse of someone by mostly right-leaning people and the te the fact that nothing was done to intervene here by systems and government, by people who could have tapped on those. APS is literally a thing, folks. Yeah, he got to update it, but he was still wibbly-wobbly about it. And Xander Hall's take was pretty solid. Gave a good uh, good history. The problem I have with Xander Hall's take is it started off really kind of meme -y. The tone of it was really not great. It was a lot of trying to play up to chat. I get the performative aspect, but guys, come on now. We're talking about something incredibly fucking toxic. <sighs> yeah. Do you have things you want to add to this, love? I mean, I think we covered it. My the thing with Vosh is I think there was definitely some soreness there and an unsureness of how to actually talk about it further. Um, I haven't seen Demon Mama's um, segment yet, so I'll have to wait till it's uploaded. But I appreciate the reminder, Saul. I haven't got to it yet. I didn't see that stream. I think their take neglects to talk about the the culture of ableism online. Uh, it absolutely does. The reason this was allowed to happen was because this person was part of a marginal, technically several marginalized groups. And the simple fact is, is that there were no systems in place to help this person or their mother. And now this awful situation has come up where normies, like regular folks online, are now aware of this really gross internet phenomenon, more so than they were already. And the reason this happened, despite what right leaning people are going to tell you, and I'm going to I'm going to get it out there beforehand. I know what you're going to say, Blair. It's not because she's trans. Just saying. It's not because she's trans. It's because she's mentally ill, and trans isn't a mental illness for all you right leaning fucks that like to watch. Yeah, people's reaction to this online was disturbing. Can we have a very real discussion about the fact that we do this? There are tons of subreddits that go over looking at people and trying to find ways to laugh at them. And the simple fact of the matter is, is that our tendency to watch a car crash, to see this stuff happen. And these people who, if Contra's right, morbidly cringe at seeing this person and wanting to make them suffer. I think we need to start calling out that behavior, the cruelty, the disregard, the lack of help. Yeah, I agree. Spectacular. This is not the time for memeing and creaming at all. To me, this is going to sound real fucking harsh. This is right up there with the Activision Blizzard lawsuit. There is nothing funny here. Nothing. Love, I know when we were talking about doing this, we were both kind of like reticent. I guess, do you have anything you want to add about that or just kind of talk about maybe some of the reasons why we were so hesitant to talk about it? I mean, some of that is just how do you engage with this, right? Um, what do you even say to this? Because there is so many 
parts where so many things failed and broke down that shit happened at some point. Um... And, like, absolutely, like, this probably is going to get used to discount trans people and misgender people. It probably will get used by the right, um, you know, to discount autistic people. And that's not the narrative or anything that we want to happen either. Like, that's the last thing. Like, we don't need Chris to be, like, a scapegoat for any of that stuff. Like, and we got to make sure that as we're talking about this, like, we're not accidentally blaming them uh you know for shitty reactions from the right like that's not what we want to be doing um and this is a rough situation because there is so much more nuance to it there this is not like a cut and dry thing even you know um like just said like a lot of stuff we don't even know if there's proof for anything for a lot of this so well, and I'll add this idea, too, is uh, I've heard a couple people make the complaint that I don't give positive statements as far as what we actually stand for. I put some out on Twitter if you want to go check them out. But I want to be really clear here. My takeaway from this is numerous. One, I think the trans community needs to get better about recognizing forms of mental illness within our ranks so that people can find and seek help. Because if we're really this concerned about optics, if we're really this concerned about, like, people falling into the meme the right uses, then we need to support each other and stop this fucking weird-ass, like, internalized dysphoria hate train. Just because someone doesn't pass doesn't mean they're not human. Just because they're cringy or mentally ill doesn't mean they don't deserve help. Holy shit. The simple fact is, is that there are people who are trans that are part of the Christorian group who could have intervened, could have helped, could have gotten engaged with some of those systems. Right? Like, there's an additional argument to be made here is this is kind of the state of what continued deregulation does, continued defunding does. By not having systems in place with good quality mental health care, that allow us to be able to interact and find these people and, and actually deal with the situation, in some ways, the system allowed this to happen. By leaving situations like this to fester, we're basically dooming people to be part of a situation that's going to go wrong. This could have gone any number of ways. This person had the mental, the mental intelligence of a fucking 10-year-old. I'm sorry, but this is really gross. And it's seriously, Chris Chan's existence really does point to leftist ideology, leftist fucking uh, values. We want people to be supported. We want people to have those resources. We want government to have systems in place to find and take care of these people. Yeah, absolutely. I want more regulations online. So that these types of situations are found and scoured. I'm sorry, I just do. The fact that some of these websites exist is bad. I know that's a hot take, but Kiwi Farms, 4chan, why do these exist? I'm not saying that I want everyone to have ultimate power in the government and just shut down whatever sites they don't like. We know where that leads. Trump tried to do it. But the fact that some of these places that are radicalizing people and have actively produced real fucking terrorists and who are actively starting hate campaigns against mentally ill people, trans people, yep, I'm aware of those ones too, Spectacular, and these are all allowed to exist. Why? Because no one gives a shit that the right radicalizes people, but will certainly take down Al-Qaeda fucking uh, videos. No, absolutely, Piper. Like, the simple fact of the matter is, is that YouTube will take down... Yeah, no, it's like a dramatic as fucking gross. Um, the simple fact is, is that, like, the fact that these places are allowed to sit there while, like, Al-Qaeda or, like, terrorist videos trying to recruit people are taken down is mind-boggling because there's no difference. We're talking about a group of people 
who are radicalized and want to cause harm to others. You cannot can tell me that these are different. Different in scale, different in scope, different in goal. But as far as their overall arching goal, not that different. A fascist is a fascist is a fascist. Sorry. So I guess my th thoughts on this, at least as far as a final thought for me, is that this points to a number of failures, not only at the system level, but as far as funding, as far as the moral caliber of people being willing to intercede, the fact that I don't know the rest of this person's family, but I have to wonder in some ways why no one was there to intercede or help. This is not a thing to joke about. Every time a Jessica Yaniv or a Chris Chan happens, we have to go on the defensive because these people are unfortunately... <sighs> because Nazis like to believe that being trans is mentally ill and they think somehow that leads to being a degenerate pervert, they make the connection in their brains that doesn't exist. There's no data for this. There's nothing that supports it. It just happens that these two people are both trans and both fucking perverts. And the thing is, that doesn't mean we misgender. We can respect a person's human rights and still want them to be punished or at very least seek some level of justice for the people who have been hurt. Remember, rehabilitation goes all the way up. We don't get to pick and fucking choose. I don't want... Chris Chan to rot in a cell. I think what she did, if that is true, if the alleged uh, action is true, is deplorable. But guess what? I don't want her to rot in a cell. What I want her to do is get fucking help. Do I want her on the streets ever again? Probably not. But there's a big difference. A big difference. Yes, we did deep dive. We covered the, the specific situation a little bit earlier. There's a big difference between someone being kept away from society because they're a danger to others and someone being thrown in solitary to be further mentally traumatized and damaged. Stop with gatekeeping. Stop with this bullshit. This should not be made into a joke. This is not funny. And I think it's important for leftists to call out communities like Reddit or I think calling out various different groups, some of the Facebook groups, the other ones, people where these stuff kind of festers, where we have power, probably should be reported. Channels that fucking hyper try to attack this fucking poor person probably should be reported. Trans creators who are right-leaning and want to sell the narrative that they're the good one and that you don't respect someone's pronouns because they did a bad probably should be reported. Because they're gross. Respect, human respect, is not something lost. No matter what a person does, no matter how deplorable, they're still a human being. Any attempt to dehumanize or discount their validity as a human leads to awful outcomes that we've seen every single time in history. I agree 100% Alexander. I think, I think supervised treated mental health professionals, I would say institutionalized to a certain degree because the, unless the, uh, the delusions can get under control. Yeah. This, not, this notion that we, we have to be okay with this, that we have to just let the right have this. We don't. We need to take control of the narrative. This is a mentally ill woman who was let suffer and rot instead of the people who are apparently hovering in her fucking mailbox and in her goddamn email. They didn't want to do anything. No one apparently did anything. That is a complicated question, Viet Pam. The short version is usually through distorted thinking going way too far with a combination of, dis you know, a disconnect or um, breakdown of your one's perception of reality. <sighs> Do you have anything else you want to add? No, I think we've covered that. 
Okay. Yeah, this is just a yucky topic. Yeah. Yeah. No, and I absolutely think there could have been, you know, stuff done to prevent it. And it sucks that this is the state things are in. Sad thing is, is that we as the trans community have to be on alert. So when somebody is acting like this or someone is clearly dealing with mental illness, maybe we do have to speak up. Maybe we have to say something. Maybe there's some ways that we need to do this because if we're really concerned about the optics of a person like this, we need to make sure that those people are getting help. And our desire to see cringe needs to be questioned. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can also ring the bell if you want to be notified of our videos. Um, if you want to help the channel, you can donate at streamlabs.com slash transgirltherapist slash tip. You also can uh, become a patron at patreon.com slash transgirltherapist. As low as $3, you can support our channel. Thanks for watching.